it's time to get dapper. This month we got the Sprezza Liberty Box. Well, it looks like at first glance, we got a dapper American Dan in a box. All right, and first up, we've got the Mosaic Men's Neckwear Tie, followed by some American Trench socks. Next up, we've got the DHA1 Pocket Square, followed by the Paul Evans Shoehorn. And lastly, but not least, because we've got to keep them teeth looking freshy fresh, we got the Marvis Toothpaste Sample Size. So that is this month's Spreza box. It is the Liberty box. As you can tell, it's a lot of red, white, and blue themes. So I'm going to take each item here and see how I can apply it to my current wardrobe and uh, get this monthly service started. All right, so what I'm going to do here is kind of work my way from the ground up pretty much every way I start my outfit. Uh, I usually start with my shoes, already kind of having an idea what I'm going to go with my top. So I am going to wear my new Kohan. Uh, these are the, um, drawn a brain fart right now, the Grand Wingtips, very casual, fun, lightweight suede summertime shoe. Uh, the red is gonna pull really well from the kind of bottom trim that they've got going on right here. And also is gonna match that necktie and pocket square. All right guys, and here is the kind of finished product that I have in mind. I am going with my J. Crew summer khaki suit here with a slim J. Crew lightweight shirt. I got my pocket square in right here. The tie, socks, shoes, shoehorn. Oddly enough, when you use it, it does not go honk. Ha! And my Nan Republic slim cut jeans. So this is a little bit more of a casual look. Yes, you can use a blazer. Yes, you can use a tie with jeans. It's all about how you pull together your different colors and your different accessories. So uh, I'm gonna put this all together here, see how it looks on the finished product. I've gotta say right away that these socks are extremely comfortable. Uh, it is a cotton nylon polyester spandex blend. So it has the softness and comfort of cotton, but it's got that good stretch and high quality feel of the spandex and polyester. So, started at the bottom, let's see where we go after this. All right, we jeans and socks now. All right, now to test out the shoehorn here. So let's see if it's really all that's cracked up to be. We're gonna apply it to the back of the heel, in between the back of the shoe. Ha! Holy crap, it is a shoehorn. Alrighty guys, we are getting close. The tie is on, the shirt is in. Let's, uh, let's finish it up. I gotta admit, I am pretty new to the pocket square game, so I have no idea what I'm doing. And here you have the finished product, folks. So uh, I'm gonna keep this guy buttoned up top here. You can see we got the tie, J. Crew slim cut shirt, pocket square. Uh, I'm utilizing everything that came in that espresso box today. So socks, shoes, pocket square, tie. Um, I think it's a good look. Let's see if we can find a better. Mirror. Disregard the funhouse aspect of this, but it is a great full-length mirror to kind of see what's going on here. So, like I said, even though we got jeans on, we can still do the tie, still do the blazer. Uh, it's just going to keep it a little more, uh, I don't know, fun casual. Now I didn't show it in the picture earlier, but I am wearing my J. Crew whiskey brown leather belt. Uh, I wear this belt so much. It is probably one of my most. Can't really see that well. Probably one of my most versatile color belts. I can dress it up, dress it down. And so, uh, I don't know, I really like this a lot. I think I'm digging the Spreza boxes more and more. So if you like this stuff, if you like how I can kind of put it together, honestly, I like this shirt, but I think I might've gone with a solid color instead, either like a white or a light blue. Um, the things with ties and shirts and pocket squares is you don't really necessarily need to match, but you don't want to overlap any particular colors or patterns. So good rule of thumb with the pocket square is do not have anywhere close to the same design as your shirt or tie. And so being a neutral kind of pattern here worked out really well. So it's still able to pull in some color from the tie. And then I got the red and blue theme going on with my shoes and socks. So. That being said, I guess that is a wrap, guys. Thank you for watching this Espresso Box review number two. I think for $28 a month, it is not a bad deal at all. So each month has its own different theme. <clears throat> 
excuse me. Like I said, each month has its own different theme. You can go on, pick which theme you prefer, and then I believe they'll kind of keep you on track with that. So uh, you can buy just one box at a time or do the monthly service. Like I said, $28 a month ships worldwide. I think you can get a great look into some other brands, some other styles maybe that are outside of your comfort zone, uh, maybe some particular brands you've never heard of. It's all about kind of broadening your horizons, like I said in the last video, and just seeing what else is out there, seeing what the cool kids are doing. Is this better lighting or is this worse? Is it better when I'm in the shadows and uh, not in the light? I'll tell you one thing, seeing yourself on HD is scary. Ain't nobody that pretty. So yeah, Spreza Box, June, the Liberty Box. That's a wrap, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.